Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading for November 4th, 2024. Welcome to Shredding La Belle Tarot. I hope you all are doing well today. Just keep in mind, Pisces, that this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you know. Also keep in mind that my readings are timeless, so it doesn't matter when this reading comes across your platform, whenever it does come into your energy is whenever it is meant for you, okay? All right, we are going to get right to it. We're going to do the present and then the past leading up to the present and the future, okay? So let's see what Spirit has for you today. Thank you all so much for the new likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel, okay? So you already have two pop-outs, one landed face down in the past and one landed upright in the present. So let's see. Um, Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Pisces today, please. Show me that Pisces energy. Show me the cards that I need to see for Pisces today, please. Let's get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. All right. You have two cards now in the present one. You have the Magician in the upright position. Okay. The Magician in the upright position is manifesting something from nothing. Okay. Okay. It can also represent obstacles that are placed in your path. However, if you do uh, have obstacles at this time that you are dealing with, then you already have the resources that you need in order to work through whatever these obstacles are, okay? You also have the Four of Wands in the reversal, okay? So this could represent like um, either a separation, possibly it could be uh, like a falling out between you and a family member or significant other possibly it can represent like a divorce as well okay but mainly some kind of uh falling out usually is how the four of wands i would read okay now specifically side note all right four of wands does state that you need to watch your spending right now so for some of you pisces you might need to watch how you're spending your money it could be very beneficial for you um you have the chariot in the upright position okay which is telling me with the magician and the chariot here that even though you are going through something that might be a little bit of like a falling out between you and a family member or a significant other or whatever it may be, some kind of setback or delay even, it looks like you're still charging ahead. You're still moving forward. You do still have a victory ahead as well, okay, with a chariot card here. And you have the ten of swords and the reversal as well, okay? And this is like uh, dodging the bullet, okay? Ten of swords and the reversal is like... Danger passes so close by that you can feel the breeze of it passing. Okay, so whatever this falling out is, whatever is happening for you right now in the present situation, Pisces, whoever you're having a falling out with, is some kind of blessing in disguise. You're being protected here in some kind of way. So that way you can keep moving forward or manifest something that you want. With the Magician card, this is like manifesting something from nothing. Okay, so if there is some kind of feeling of a blockage between you know, a separation between you and someone in your life right now or something to that nature, Pisces, is actually a blessing in disguise with the Ten of Swords in the Reversal here, okay? It's, Ten of Swords in the Reversal is also a card of healing or recovery as well. So clarify the present situation for Pisces today, please. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Clarify this present situation for my Pisces collective. Show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. Let's get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. King of Wands. The Chariot and the Reversal, King of Swords reversed, and the Four of Pentacles reversed. So, yeah, it does look like you have some kind of negative energy around you here, Pisces. It could possibly be a air sign or a water sign. You have heavy Cancer energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But it looks like with the King of Wands here, what you're doing is stepping into some kind of leadership role as far as taking the lead of your own life here, Okay. The King of Wands is someone that uses the dynamic energy of a leader. This is someone that's like a visionary, all right? Someone that has a lot of courage and strength. With the with the King of Swords and the Reversal as well, it could also be that you, like yourself here, Pisces, are having to possibly cut anyone out of your life that is not like on the same level as you or someone that you do not resonate with. The same with the King of Swords and the Reversal. You're kind of having to push that to the side, Okay. It can be someone that is mentally manipulative or someone that is a liar, possibly. It doesn't have to be that, okay? With the chariot and the reversal here, it's that, you know, you have the chariot and the upright, which is what we're clarifying. With the chariot and the reversal here is that you have someone that is a blockage in your path, and that's why a separation is happening right now, because you're having to set boundaries, most likely, in order to make sure that some other people around you don't hold you back. And it could also be divinely guided, where spirit is kind of, um, allowing people in your life to exit stage left, so to speak, so that way you can keep moving forward. You have the Four of Pentacles and the Reversal, okay? 
which is a release of anyone or anything that you've been holding on to very tightly, okay? It could be someone that's greedy or materialistic. It doesn't have to be. It could be someone that's just possessive over you, all right? But it looks like there is some kind of separation happening. Let's get one more to pull it all together. The Ten of Wands in the upright position, okay? So this is a weight or a burden that has been on your shoulders for some time. You have the Ten of Wands or the uh, Ten of Swords in the reversal here, okay? And Ten of Swords in the reversal is like, like I said, it's a... Uh, dodging the bullet okay so you're about to get this weight or this burden that's been on your shoulders for some time it's about to be lifted off okay so let's look at the past leading to this present situation you have the devil in the upright position wow so very clear message so far pisces the devil in the upright position is anyone or anything that is slowing you down or holding you back from uh achieving your life's purpose or your highest um highest purpose here okay now this doesn't have to be someone it could be like a mindset it could be you know, drugs or alcohol or anything like that. However, if it is a person, you know, this is someone that is a blockage. So clarify this past for Pisces. You have the judgment card in the upright position. Okay. All right. What's going on? You have the two of cups in the upright position and the empress in the reversal. Okay. So it could be a Libra or a Taurus. Possibly you have Capricorn and also Scorpio energy here with a judgment card. Two of Cups is, I think, Cancer. It's either Cancer or um, Pisces. So Two of Cups is Cancer energy. So judgment card is the ending of something, but not necessarily the beginning of something else, okay? You have the Two of Cups in the upright position, which is um, new love coming in. It could be you loving yourself, okay? The Two of Cups is usually someone that you would not normally go for, that maybe you're having a connection with like just starting out or maybe someone that you're already in a relationship with and it kind of feels here uh pisces that this present situation is kind of a realization from this past situation so it's like you're starting to realize stuff here in the past where this person coming into your energy might be some kind of blockage with these two cards here the devil card and the empress in the reversal okay it's like you're starting to notice it here especially if you're already dating this person with the two of cups the Empress in the reversal is someone that is kind of like a codependent energy or someone that lacks stability or they lack resources. Um, the main thing with the Empress in the reversal is that codependency where you kind of got someone that's probably coming in to love bomb you because they need to be around someone. So clarify the past for Pisces, please. Show me the cards that I need to see. Clarify this past situation for Pisces. What's going on for Pisces here in the past? One, two, three, four. One more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay. You have the Fool in the Reversal, okay. Nine of Swords in the Reversal. Four of Wands in the Upright Position, okay. So, pretty clear message here. <laughs> Queen of Swords in the Upright Position. So, yeah, you're, get, you're getting pretty mentally here. Oh my god, Mercury Retrograde, bro. You're getting pretty mentally clear here in the past Pisces, okay. You have the Fool card in the Reversal, which is like... Um, an unwise decision or a new start or a new beginning that is being blocked. Okay, you have the Nine of Swords in the reversal, which is um, an emotional release, letting go of old pain and moving on, a release of tension that you can physically feel. Okay, you're kind of like seeing something here as well because the Nine of Swords in the upright position is someone that's very stuck in their head. Okay, and the reversal, it's kind of like being clear here, which is you have another card of as well with the Queen of Swords in the upright position because her head is... Um, above the clouds the clouds are only coming halfway up her body which is representational of her being clear-minded knowing what she wants or seeing something um, for what it really is here you have the four of wands in the upright position which is another card of a victory or a celebration it can represent like a significant other as well with the four of wands there with the two of cups and the four of wands it could be someone that you are in a relationship with or possibly in a marriage with okay it's kind of like you're starting to see the situation for what it is like you're taking a step back and looking at it differently Let's get one more for Pisces to pull it all together. You have the Queen of Pentacles in the reversal. Could be someone that is materialistic or they uh, they lack resources or it says jealous, nagging, materialistic, suffocating, capricious, moody, foolish, undecided. You got a lot of negative aspects of a person here. I wouldn't say it's a negative person. It's just a person that is codependent and they need to learn something about either probably being by themselves, like how to be by themselves. You know, you should know, you know, in my opinion, you should know how to be by yourself before you get into a relationship. I think it's just smart. Okay. So it looks like some kind of separation here is happening in the present based on some kind of knowledge or insight that you've like recognized or realized here in the past Pisces. Okay. 
Let's look at your future. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see for Pisces in the future. What does Pisces have to look forward to? Show me the cards that I need to see. One, two, three, four. Okay. Ten of Wands in the reversal again. You have the Ten of Swords in the reversal. The Ten of Wands is in the upright here in the present, actually, which is a weight or a burden that is on your shoulders. And I think I pretty much specifically said that you're kind of getting that weight off of your shoulders, okay? That's that Ten of Wands in the reversal now, which is a weight or a burden being lifted off of your shoulders, all right? Clarify the future for Pisces. You have the Mother of Swords, okay? Which is the same thing as the Queen of Swords, which is what you have here in the past. Now, the Queen of Swords, how I normally read it, would be that your clear communication is expressing what is best for all. So I would say at this point in the past, you might have expressed to this person what it is that you need or what it is that you're analyzing or what you can see here, what you think would be great uh, for the connection if it changed, okay? That might not have been something that went over very well, but it looks like you did express it for at least some of you. Three of Wands and the reversal, possible sabotage by a team member of a project early on. And you have the five of pentacles in the upright position. So someone feeling left out in the cold or kicked to the curb. So it looks pretty clear here, Pisces, for at least some of you. Um, the future is, first of all, the future is always subject to change, which means that the future can always change. It base, it's based on the decisions that people make in the present, how everything happens right now and how it unfolds, okay? It looks like if things continue to keep going the way they are going and someone doesn't learn to compromise or change things here in the present, it looks like there might be a uh, separation that occurs here in the future. Someone's going to be feeling left out in the cold or kicked to the curb because the other person is going to be trying to sabotage the connection, okay? Uh, you have a lot of different signs coming through in your reading. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you have cancer, okay? Heavy cancer energy. Um, you have the chariot twice. Uh, that's cancer, both cancer. Ten of swords in the reversal. Five of pentacles, Taurus, okay? Uh, Ten of Swords on the reversal is um, Gemini, I believe. You got a lot of different signs here. You have Aries with the Three of Wands in the reversal. So could be any sign, general reading, okay? But it looks like along the present course that someone might try to sabotage the connection in the future. Um, it could be also based on what you were saying about the connection or vice versa. So clarify this future situation for Pisces, please. Holy Spirit and Holy Angel, show me the cards that I need to see. Clarify this future situation for Pisces. Let's see it. Let's get one more. One, two, three, four. Okay. Five of Wands in the reversal. Nine of Cups. There you are. Ten of Pentacles in the reversal. And the Ten of Cups in the upright position. Wow. So, there you are again. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was just thinking like two seconds ago. I was like, you have a lot of other signs here except for Pisces. I was like, you don't really see a lot of your sign in this reading. And now here you are in the future. So, you have the Five of Wands and the Reversal, which is someone with a bruised ego trying to come back and work things out with you, okay? Now, what could be also, Pisces, is that a separation happens here in the present, okay? Someone's feeling left out in the cold. They feel like they sabotaged the connection, and now they're coming back to try to work things out because the Ten of Pentacles and the Reversal, what they've been wanting or the way they were wanting this to happen is not working. They know that, that whoever this is, they were trying to build something with you. They were trying to be happy with you, but maybe, you know, you calling them out on something that they're doing wrong is really sending this person. It is the middle of Mercury retrograde right now. So what this means is that at this time, during this period, miscommunication happens a lot. Okay. You have the Nine of Cups in the upright position, which is happiness. Okay. Uh, this is you being happy with the, you know, um, being happy with the progress that you've been putting in. Uh, it does state that you have to continue putting in that same amount of progress in order to maintain the happiness, but you do have it. And you also have this ten of I mean ten of cups in the upright position, which is happy family, happy home life, okay? And I feel like this is kind of what a person is stating here. They're coming back to try to work things out with you because this is what they did want with the ten of cups in the upright. Maybe it didn't happen, okay, but this person is at least trying to. The only thing I would really watch out for is with the five of wands and the reversal is that they still have a bruised ego, which means they're not really happy with the fact that you have kind of set boundaries or set standards or put your foot down, so to speak. Someone's not quite happy about that. So let's get one more for Pisces to pull it all together. You have the magician in the upright position, okay, which is what came out in the present, okay? And the magician is manifesting something from nothing, okay? So what you have been wanting, it is coming in for you, especially here in the future. This is like a culmination of events that have uh, added to this magician, okay? 
So it's like maybe you wanted something with a person, maybe a specific person, but that person is not acting the way you want them to or being the way you want them to. So you're kind of manifesting how you want that person to be because of their maybe codependency issues or something. So overall, it looks pretty good for you here, Pisces. Let's get Big Bubba Mac to clarify some of the situation for you, okay? Spirit guides, God, angels, ancestors, Archangel Michael, Big Bubba Mac. Show me the cards that I need to see for Pisces today, please. Show me that Pisces energy. Let's get one more four and we'll start there, okay? One, four. Love you to the moon and back could be something that this person says to you or you say to this person or might, you know, someone loves you to the moon and back or vice versa. What else for Pisces? We have moon cycle. Some of you could be manifesting. Like I said, okay, you use the moon cycle in order to manifest. You can, okay, something about the moon cycle might be significant for you. What else for Pisces, please? We have hate. I don't know. Someone could be feeling hateful towards you or you're feeling hateful towards someone. Something about hate is significant here. What else for Pisces, please? Excuse me. We have sister. Okay. Something about a sister could be significant. You are a sister or you're dealing with a sister or someone's sister is significant here. What else for Pisces, please? Perseverance is called for. Okay. So... That would be the kind of like the magician card. All right. So keep pushing right now, especially if you're dealing with obstacles. You already have the resources that you need in order to deal with whatever these obstacles are. You just might have to think outside of the box. So have patience and keep pushing. We have go for a walk. So some of you might need to go for a walk in order to clear your mind. This is also very good for your mental health. Okay. I would recommend going for a walk. What else for Pisces, please? One, two, three, four. We have F. Someone's first middle or last name can start with an F. Yours or theirs. Okay. What else for Pisces? It's too late to apologize. This could be something that someone's saying to you. Maybe it's too late for someone to apologize to you. Something about that is significant. Okay, what else for Pisces, please? Should I stay or should I go? This could be what you're trying to figure out. Okay, someone's trying to figure this out about, you know, the situation with you. All right, someone's trying to figure out if they should stay or go in a connection. What else for Pisces? We have tape. Someone could be trying to keep you stuck or stuck on them or, you know, keep you stuck in their head or something like this, Pisces. Let's pick this up, whatever this is. What else for Pisces, please? We have micromanage. Someone could be micromanaging you or they say that you micromanage them. Something about micromanage is significant here. What else? We have T. Someone's first middle or last name could start with a T. Yours or theirs. What else? We have get some plants. Some of you might need to get some plants. Okay, maybe you do get some plants regularly. Maybe you have plants already. That's how you deal with stress maybe i don't know <laughs> let's get one more for pisces to pull it all together one two three four we have cancer some of you might be dealing with a cancer you might have cancer somewhere in your chart something about cancer is significant here all right overall pretty good reading here for you i feel like something that you're manifesting really is coming in okay i feel like that's the like the gist of this reading for you pisces okay all right thank you all so much for the new likes comments shares and subscribes it is greatly appreciated and it does help out the channel so much. Thank you all so much, okay? If you would like to reach out to me for a personal reading, all the information about that is in the description box below, okay? And anything else you need to know, anything else you need to know about me will be down there as well, okay? Love you guys. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward. And as always, love yourself first. See you guys later.